At its heart, Vattenfall is working for fossil freedom. It's addressing that challenge directly for how we can work, live, travel and enjoy life without that reliance on fossil fuels. It's a bold purpose, it's very ambitious, but that's what we need. So the heating sector contributes about a third of the UK's carbon footprint. A lot of that comes from uh, how we heat our homes. 85% of households have a gas boiler in their home, and that is not the answer to decarbonising our planet. Um, it's not a sustainable solution. You are burning a fossil fuel. Uh, in your house in the same way that you burn petrol in your car. All of our buildings in the country have got little exhaust pipes sticking out the side of them and that's the challenge that, that we need to address. In a world where we're not using fossil fuels, how do we heat our homes? So this is where we come in. The Vattenfall is taking all of the experience garnered over the last hundred years across Northern Europe and Scandinavia and bringing the best and brightest ideas to a new generation of heat networks that are recognised as one of the critical parts of the system that we need to build in order to get off fossil fuels in the UK. It's quite simple, really. A heat network is just like a central heating system for a city. What we're doing is we're putting in large insulated steel pipes in the ground and then taking hot water and piping it directly into homes and businesses. We provide a reliable supply of hot water into the building, but instead of uh, a boiler, you've got a heat interface unit. So all that does is it transfer the energy from the hot water in the pipes in the ground to the hot water in your radiators. What's revolutionary about district heating is the way that we heat that water. We're doing it by using um, shared heat that is already here in the atmosphere and it ends up hot enough that we can give you hot water and hot homes 24 seven um, all year round. If you're a customer and your, your home is connected to a heat network, you can use your heating and hot water in exactly the same way as you do before. So you'll have a thermostat, you'll have heating controls and access to heating and hot water on demand in exactly the same way that you're used to. The key difference is that it's an all-inclusive service. So all of the maintenance, all of the servicing, all of the repairs, we take care of that. We also provide 24-7 call-outs and you'll always get a real person at the end of the phone. The district heating network is not as dependent on price peaks on certain commodities as a single source boiler, for example, because we are integrating different sources into our district heating network, right? So we're having water source heat pumps, air source heat pumps, but we also integrate waste heat sources as well as biomass, HVO and other opportunities. So we were balancing our portfolio uh, to optimize also the prices for our customers. You can be assured that you're being delivered resilient, reliable, low carbon, fairly priced heating and hot water. When we're building new heat networks, we're putting in smart meters from the get-go. That means as a customer, you can be sure that the heating that you're charged for is measured accurately, so you're only paying for what you use. And we offer a variety of different payment methods, and you can monitor your accounts in a way that suits you. So you're in control. When you're served by a heat network, you're served by an energy system that is providing you with resilience because we're not reliant on one source. It also means that we can improve that resilience with something called thermal stores. Essentially, that's just a big tank of water. And in times of higher demand, you can utilize it, which means that the supply to customers and to businesses, it's not interrupted. For me, that means that you've got a system serving customers, which is future-proofed. Customers on a heat network are given the same level of protection as any other energy consumer in the market. They will be protected by an industry regulator that will be off-gem. They're guaranteed safe, reliable, low carbon and cost-effective heating. It's local energy, locally generated, delivered to local people. So at its heart is community and not many utility sectors get to say that. <laughs>